Hi, it's Jan. Uh, the firmware version 5.4 just came out and this is to give you an overview of the new features. Uh, the first one relates to screen switching. Uh, as you know, you switch screens by pressing uh, the left or right button. Uh, but previously, for example, if you wanted to go from the main screen to the session screen, you first need to go to the overview, then wait until it fully loads and only then you can switch to the session screen, uh, which may be mildly, mildly annoying. Uh, so now uh, you can actually interrupt the, uh, the screen loading. So if, if you press the button multiple times, it will just keep going. So you don't need to wait uh, for any of the screen to fully load. So this is now much faster. Uh, the second thing <clears throat> relates to monitoring uh, of the ESC and motor temperature. Uh, so in the previous firmware versions you are able to see the, the ESC temperature right here on the main screen and the motor temperature here on the overview screen. But the problem is that uh, as you uh, as you get going, uh, this uh, this value gets replaced by by the range because the, the range indicator gets replaced by uh, the speed. So then the range moves to the to this position, and uh, you you lose the uh, the temperature information. As you can see now, we have range here, no temperature. So now, if you go to the menu, uh, right here on the miscellaneous, uh, on the writing screen main, there are these two new options, uh, which are to display the speed and uh, the speed together with the ESC temperature or the motor temperature. And now, so if I select this one, Now if I get going, you can see that uh, we have the ESC temperature right here in a vertical position, so this means 27, the first digit is on the top and the second is on the bottom. And you can display the, the mode temperature in the, in the same way. Okay, so that's it for this quick demo. Uh, for the full list of changes, please go to davige.eu slash fw slash changelog.txt